If you want me to try these oysters that y'all so-called, I need to, y'all gotta let me know. Like I gotta really, and I'll do it on air. Yeah. I'll do it on the whistle. But I need, I need the fans to really let me know this is what they want me to do. Cause you know, last time I checked, you know, I don't do balls. Well, I will say this, you know, from the comments don't. last time, the, uh, the sugar and grits made a little bit of a comeback, but I would like to see the same kind of energy with this, this poll question here. And, yeah. and of course, if Coach Hart tries it on, on air, I will, I will go down with my boy. I promise you, I will be there with oh, you. Oh, I'm not going down on no ball. <laughs> <laughs> I said with, not on. Let's, oh. con- let's make oh. sure. With, okay. not I on. Got All right. Coach Pollock, now, he, he giving you a hard time, no pun intended, about the ball. <laughs> but I got another clip I'm going to drop in right here. We went through sugar and grits. We went through black pepper and grits. This man tried mustard and grease. I did. Oh, Lord. Now, Lord, everybody said, talking about you and the sugar and the grease, now you're going to try mustard. Listen, I at least tried. I'm going to at least try. Okay, I'm open-minded, I'm confident enough, and I'm intelligent enough to try something to see if it works or not. Don't take no offense to what I said. I know how y'all get. My coach said, from Alabama, they put mustard no, in no, their grits. They. I said, I do. <laughs> oh, okay, my bad. He does. So, so I'm gonna try this with the mustard in the grits. I ain't even never heard of this before. Let's see. Salt and pepper threw me off. I'm gonna try this. I'm from Alabama. Let's see what's up. <laughs> that actually ain't bad though. I ain't gonna say it don't sound like this. No, I ain't. That actually ain't bad. That good. I mean, mix that thing up. That ain't bad. I'm like, go get some more mustard to put in there. I don't know. That actually ain't bad. So we went from sugar to salt and pepper to non mustard. Oh, yeah. And like the old Light Siri commercial, he likes it. He likes it. Hey, <laughs> I did. I did. Coach Kelly, yeah. our defense coordinator, told me about putting a little bit of mustard in his grits, man. And I, I had never heard this before. I, I never heard Salt that before. You knew, you knew either. Huh? I never heard it. He's from Alabama, which He's from is right Alabama. there next to where I grew up. Yeah. And so I've never heard that, but I'm definitely going to try that. So definitely. I put a little mustard in there. It had to be no fancy mustard, people. Just, you know, regular mustard. And I stirred it up. And ju- it was good. Yeah. I, 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 I'm definitely going to try that. It was good. I'm definitely going to try that. You know, we got some more stuff, too. Yeah. So we're going to do some research, you know, we've been doing about Colorado and figuring out. I got top songs, favorite songs. In Colorado, there you I go. did some research. So we're there gonna do a go. top five every episode there you go. of songs in Colorado. Y'all let us know because some of this is some, some some interesting stuff here. It's a lot of heartbreak and a lot of searching for women in Colorado. <laughs> uh, I'm, I'm starting to see that. Yeah, you know I understand. Yeah, I understand. I can let, see that. Let's check this one out. Uh, Colorado girl, 1960. Yeah. Thomas Van Zant, a search for lost love was the theme of this song, and Thomas Van Zant is actually was born in Texas. Well, you know what? I've never heard that song, but I'm definitely going to put it on the playlist and uh, see what it's all about. Yeah, I mean, he, he's searching for love, man. It's a little sad there, but I think they, they say it's one of the favorite songs of Colorado, so I don't know. Y'all let us know. Number two. I got number two here. 40 Miles from Denver. All right. That sounds like Boulder. That's Boulder. Yeah, for, for, <laughs> I mean, yeah 40, we miles, 40 from miles from Denver. <laughs> this song is supposed to be especially loved by Coloradians. Uh, Yonder Mountain Spring Band. Story of a yearning for travel. I think that's the Yonder Mountain Spring Band. Yonder. Is yeah, Yonder. Yonder. Yonder, yonder, yonder okay. Mountain. Yonder spring Mountain band. Spring Band. Ain't that what I said? I, I didn't you say that. Said, I thought you said Younger. My oh, bad. well, I'm a little, I got an accent. You know, I am from the South, so it might have sounded like that. My bad. Yonder means over there. Yeah, yonder. yonder. Like over yeah. yonder. Yeah. Over that's yonder. It. That's what it yonder means. Yonder Mountain yeah. Spring Band. Yeah. Loved by Coloradans. A story of yearning for travel. Yearning for travel. I guess hiking, maybe. Yeah, I guess so. Skiing? That's one of them things that uh, I'm not too fond of doing. Me you either. Know? I mean, everybody, everybody I talk to keeps asking me, hey, we, you want to go on a hike? No, I really don't. <laughs> you know what I mean? Ain't no air up there. I, I, mean, I mean, listen, hey, I respect anybody that can go do a 14er. The only way I'm going to do a 14er if I get dropped off at th- about 13.5. <laughs> and then I'll, I'll hit the last 500 with you. <laughs> Number three. Oh, this is my guy. 
You Wild Colorado by Johnny Cash. Oh, yes, sir. Huh? The Man in Black. Huh? God, hey. Huh? Great song right uh, Great song uh, the right The theme there. of this song is about the rugged terrain and beauty of the Colorado countryside. Hey, anything Johnny Cash sings is great. We're going to have to go in the mountains right to see that, though. Yeah, yeah, huh? absolutely. We're going to have to go hiking. Yeah, we're going to, well, we can, we can, we can probably get us a, a vehicle and, and, and go up there. there. Yeah, yeah, I, I like yeah. that. I like that. that Number four, that. Rocky Mountain High. Ooh, by John, John Denver. John Denver, Rocky hey, Mountain High, baby. Now, I knew I knew John Denver had to be in the top five somewhere. He, he was, I mean, come on now. Number four right here, John Denver. I knew he had it. Rocky Mountain High. That's oh. right. Listen, here's a here's a fun fact. They said even though people try to try to put the Rocky Mountain High song with the uh, medicinal use of <laughs> marijuana yeah. here in Denver, it's true that the song was actually talking about, uh, he was referring to the altitude okay. and how thin the air was when he moved uh, here to Aspen, and he loved the beauty. But he right. talked about yeah, when he got up in the mountains and the beauty, and it took his breath away. It was because yeah. of the altitude. Had you know, nothing to do with John Denver getting high. Getting high. <laughs> yeah. Okay. Or anybody else getting high. Or anybody else getting high. Just so, being in a high place. That's right. That's <laughs> all it was, Coloradians. We yeah. want to get this name off of y'all. That's right. Come about on. About being, you know, everything can't be related. Connoisseurs of the, of, the, of the plant. <laughs> all right. That's, Number five. I guess that's organic, right? Organic. Yeah. <laughs> organic. <laughs> Number five, the last one of the day, all right? Boulder to Birmingham. I don't know how to, L.M. Lou, L.M. Lou Harris. Amy e, Lou Harris, Amy Lou, Lou Harris. Yeah, I know he would know. Amy Lou Harris. This is some of his people who's on <laughs> this song. Some of my people. Uh -huh. <laughs> yeah, anytime you get them two names like that. Yeah, Amy Lou. Amy Lou. Hey, you know Amy Lou. I mean, that's, anytime you go double first name, you know what's up. <laughs> it's Amy Lou right there. Yeah. It's like Ray Ray. Yeah, okay. exactly. <laughs> Pookie and Ray Ray. Yeah. All right. Yeah. Emily Harris, a tribute to her mentor who, who actually passed away. Yeah. And she was talking about her trip from Birmingham to Boulder. Okay. Uh, to come and, and, right. and bury her mentor. I got you. Uh, who passed away. So that's the top five. But we got some more here, man. We got some good ones. I, I, I got some for you next episode. Oh, yeah. From your, Georgia. Oh, yeah. yeah I know, I know, I know no? what's coming. You think you, you know what I'm talking about? I already about? know what's okay, coming. Okay, I, I, I already know. see if y'all can guess what it is, too. I already know. You know? Yes, sir. They're, they're, they're from Georgia, but they yes, wrote a sir. famous Colorado song. Yes, sir. That's it's a great it's song, too. It's okay. a great song, too. All right. All right. We're going to get back to that next. That's right. But those are the top five. Well, next episode, we got, you know, the part top five. We also got questions from the fans we're going to be answering. Absolutely. So, you know, just stay tuned to the whistle, man. It's always going to be something on the whistle. The whistle. Coach Pollock and Coach Hart. We ain't got no whistle today. Wait, wait, Violation. Wait. Somebody Vi out there blow a whistle. Somebody blow the whistle. <laughs> Violation on us two. That's right. 15-yard penalty. Big time penalty. <laughs>